Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another Feed the Beast Unhinged Let's Play video. So at the end of my last episode, I had been looking at automating my uh, alvearies here. As you can see, I've kind of added in four more alvearies since the last episode. So at the moment, what have I got running? So I've got ruby bees in here, which have produced a whole lot of ruby combs, as well as a lot of rocky combs. I think we've got valuable bees in here, producing our lovely platinum, platinum combs. Uh, more ruby bees in here, with lots more ruby combs. I think this one's emerald bees. Yep, this is my emerald bees with all my emerald cones, combs even. Uh, we've got more more valuable bees in here, and I think oh, bloody hell, I did not mean to throw out a lux capacitor there. And then finally, yep. So these two are both platinum bees as well. So we've got three hives producing platinum bees as they produce them slightly slower than the ruby or the emeralds. Uh, what I'm going to do is as soon as I've got enough. Um, What's it called? Um, Senti paneling. Get a couple more set. Well, what, what, I, what I did have is both of these running Imperial and Industrial drones. Probably what I'll do is have them re-running back up once I've got a bit more scented panelings. I probably want to chuck a load of uh, rocky combs through my centrifuge here to get uh, that get them turning into um, good old um, <clears throat> honey drops. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. So we just make sure that's all full up with as many rocky combs as possible. So this should, in theory, start producing... Uh, liquid honey at some point but what's the plan for this episode so in this episode what we're going to do is find some way of automating our pro uh, our uh, well <clears throat> so at the moment we've got an auto automated way of putting uh, frames into our frame housing this episode we're going to figure out some kind of automated method for pulling combs out of these chests i basically changed these all to diamond chests so that if i just kind of like leave them off camera they can just kind of get filled up quite nicely i'm never really going to run out of space which is quite nice um so yeah so the aim is to try and figure out the best way of automating the pulling out of combs from uh, these from these chests into my ME system and then automatically putting them into centrifuges so I'm probably just going to set up a kind of uh, a centrifuge per c per comb type so I'm going to need three different centrifuges at the moment I'll probably come up with a couple more depending on whether or not I decide to start using some of my other bees such as like glittering corroded shining rusty all sorts of all fun jazz like that so first of all let's get started by uh, making a few... Do I have any spare centrifuges? Uh, that's the wrong recipe. I want centrifuges here. Uh, and I want view, view stored craftable. Uh, nope, so I'm going to need to make some centrifuges. So first of all, let's make three sturdy casings with our bronze in our system. Then we're going to need to make one, two, three. Uh, build, uh, build forestry centrifuge, centrifuges even. Uh, where are we going to put them? So do, 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 do. do I build them here or do I build them over in my main base? I um, suppose I could just build them over here. Probably just require knocking out and extending out the... Mm, just trying to figure out the best place to put them really. Um, might be best back over in my main base. So let's just head over there for a second. We'll just like have the... Um, no, 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 no. Before I do that, what I want to do is figure out a way of pulling out the combs from these chests. So what I want to test out first is to see if ME import buses will... So let me just do ME... So I want to make an import, basic import bus. Do I have everything in place? No, because I need to make some sticky pistons. Uh, let's make... 20 something oh no let's make, let's make sure i don't use all my ordinary pistons uh basic import bus there we go um then i need some, well me cable shouldn't be a problem as that is right i just need to like run it around here um so if we just knock that out so if we put an me basic me import bus there will that start pulling things out of this diamond chest it will okay Test one over. So what? I, what? I don't, but basically, what I don't want it to do is pull out all the extra drones. So I've, I've established that basic ME input bus will just pull things out of the ME, out of this chest and into my ME system. Now, like I said, I don't want it pulling. I don't want it pulling drones out of the system. What I want it doing is pulling. Um, only combs out of the system or, or specific combs out of the system so for example until I can get um, so what I'm probably going to do off camera is automate the uh, addition of rocky combs into as many of the like maybe set up a few more centrifuges to automatically process rocky combs into honey drops which will put them automatically into these um, squeezers and then the honey will then be transported automatically to the these two carpenters which are both producing scented paneling but for now what I want to do is literally just automate um, the pulling out of uh, the comb so if you want to so up until this point i think i've only ever used um basic import buses for now what i want is um precision export buses yeah so what well, uh 
because what the precision export bus will allow you to do is specifically pull out only comb only things of items of a certain type from inventory so in this case what i'm only going to tell it to pull out is the combs that i want to centrifuge so do i have any um i think it's basic circuits so let me just make sure that i craft uh let's just craft 10 of these just to get going um so yeah i'm gonna need at least one uh, precision import bus for each of these chests here um so for that i'm gonna need to make s five more basic import buses so one two three four okay what have, I, what have i run out of i think i've run out of um okay that one's pre-configured which i didn't which i hadn't realized um yeah i'm gonna need to make some more me interfaces as well so let me just craft uh two more me interfaces i think as well uh this could take a little this could take a this this could take a few seconds uh, actually saying that on more more of those uh, ME interfaces because I'm going to need to craft some export buses at some point as well and more import buses so um, what are we looking for so basic so make sure I just grab some of these basic pro basic processors um, what, else, what else am I looking for so one more of them is being made uh, on ME duh, 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 ME interfaces um, I want stored craft, one craftable. There we go. Let me just make sure I craft a few, quite a few more of them as well. These can stay in my system for now, as I don't particularly need them. So they're being crafted. The ME stored craftable, ME basic processors. Oh, that, they be, they're being crafted as well. Um, <clears throat> so I'm looking for. So I need two more basic import buses. So one, two. Then I need to turn all of these into uh, precision export buses. Uh, one, two, three, four. Then finally the one that's pre-configured, which I don't care about, uh, as we're going to be putting it back. So yeah, so now I need to grab uh, the comb that I want to import into my system. So for example, I want oh yeah, platinum comb, don't need another one of them. Uh, emerald combs, uh, ruby combs. Uh, I think that's everything I need, because then I just need one of each, just so it knows, just so my system knows. Got some spare cabling as well. So if we put the precision import bus down like that then this one is ruby comb so i want it to pull out ruby combs like so that'll attach up into the system so in theory hopefully this should now and be pulling ruby combs so <clears throat> if we take all of these out hopefully nothing else is being pulled out which is exactly what we wanted so ruby combs are now being pulled into the system excellent uh, we put one on here as well flip you around make sure this is pulling out uh platinum combs like so is that gotten rid? Oh, okay, so I, so yeah, I think you do actually need. I didn't. I thought you didn't have the item in there. That was weird. Oh no, I think I've just because I took um, a ruby comb and put them all back inside, didn't I? Whoops, a diddly squid. So that's pulling in platinum comb. So I need to have ruby combs coming out of this one. Let me just flip it around. Here we go. So we'll put ruby in there. So this one needs to be emeralds, I think. So just flip this all around connect it all up uh, emerald combs so then we need to have valuable combs in both of platinum combs in both of these ones platinum and then finally if we just knock these flowers out we can then put the final precision import bus there like so connect you up to the system like that platinum combs so all of the combs are now being poured into the system so if we go across back over to my main base, so I can start setting up the automatic centrifuging of my uh, of my combs now. Uh, so yeah, so what we what we're gonna need is we've got those centrifuges. Uh, let me just stick all these combs back in the system. We're gonna need um, three basic export buses, which apparently I don't have. Apparently all those ME um, what are they called ME interfaces. Just, just decided not to craft, which is slightly annoying. Um, M E. So it's starting to craft them now. So we're going to need three basic export buses, um, and then three basic import buses. Once the M E interfaces have crafted, which is taking a while, oh, we've got quite a few combs going in. Got plenty of storage space in my system at the moment, which is quite nice indeed. Uh, let me just grab the M E. Here we go. So we've got one basic import bus. Okay, so it's, it's going to have to craft all of them. So what we're going to... Oh, I just realised something. I need um, one of each of my combs. That's coils. I want combs. So I want platinum comb. I want emerald comb. I want ruby comb. So lots and lots of combs going in my system. Uh, like we're going to need to find some place down here to hook this up to. So 
where, where is near to so probably like here maybe on the back of all of these um redstone energy conduits here so what we're going to need is to have centrifuge 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 uh is that going to work maybe not uh let me just destroy you let me just go upstairs and grab some more redstone energy conduit i'm sure i've got some more upstairs somewhere do, 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 do. do I have those ME interfaces? I do, so that's one more basic uh, bus. Uh, what I'm also going to need is a redstone energy conduit, like so, just to increase my uh, my little cabling a little bit. Drop down here. I uh, want to put one more there, like so. Uh, put the last centrifuge here. So then what we can have is if we have basic export buses, um, I don't know, have the export buses going there and then we'll have the import buses going along the bottom. So for this one we'll want platinum, this one will want, oops a daisy, this one will want ruby and this one will want emeralds. So in theory that should, once I hook it up to the rest of the system, like so, um, is that hooked up there? I think it's all hooked up so in theory that should be yep there we go so this is now exporting emerald combs like so you can see the emerald fragments um this will be pulling ruby fragments out so what this is going to be creating uh is the uh so this one will be creating ruby fragments every time there you go ruby fragments and beeswax uh this one will be producing platinum grains there we go so now we need some way of um auto crafting them into the desired components so for example we need to turn the platinum grains into platinum dust and all these shards into um like rubies and emeralds and all cool stuff like that so for that we're going to let me just make my final basic import bus i think is what we need for downstairs me is that those god's sake why is it just cancelling those me interfaces randomly um maybe it's because i've just got like nothing in the system uh, let me just have a quick look how much quartz have i got left that would probably be why, because I've got bugger all, um, bugger all quartz left in my system. I'm going to need to go and get a load of quartz from somewhere, I think. Um, let me just make sure, let me just see if I can craft one more, one more ME interface, just so the emeralds have something to, uh, something to import into. So yeah, what we're going to need is some auto, yep, auto workbenches. So if we make one, two... One, two, three, one, two, three tables. Do I have, no, I do not have any wooden gears in my system. So we need four per, oh, we've only got 11. So we need to craft some sticks. Um, just shift click. Apparently, that, um, apparently I can't shift click sticks in. So just tell it to craft 64 sticks. Hopefully that will do it. S-T-I-C, there we go. So there's the last gear that we need, last wooden gear. So now we can make one, two, three auto workbenches. I've just realized I've got absolutely zero quartz to do this with. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to need to go do some either some strip mining or make sure my quarries are set up. But basically, I'm running fairly low on quartz. Is it found? Have I found any more? No, I've got like absolutely zero, zero quartz. So ME interface. Um, I think we need to make one more ME uh basic import bus there we go for the emerald fragments downstairs uh if we run down here and then we can hook that up to the system because it's probably made an absolute ton of there we go emerald fragments so that's probably enough to make five emeralds i think something like that uh these also make honey drops so this should uh I, these will automatically be sent to my centrifuges back across my base um Said, I think I'm going to need to go and find some way of making Certus Quartz. Let me just have a quick look. Is there any? Is there an easy way of getting Certus Quartz? Um, Certus Quartz. Um, the answer is no. Computer says no. There is no way of just like kind of crafting Certus Quartz. So I'm either going to have to go do like a load of strip mining, find a load of Certus Quartz, or just get my quarries get back up and running. I think and just find Certus Quartz. Or, in theory. I could also try and find like the miscraft page for Certus Quartz and um, then create like spheres of them but that would then also require me to find that page which I don't think I have. So this could be interesting. Uh, Q so yeah we've got like no Certus Quartz at the moment so if we go for the so basically what the final plan for this little setup is going to be is that once I've got enough Quartz I can set up uh, similar to like the auto workbench I can have um, 
uh, ME, export buses and import buses all the way along here. Auto crafting, uh, if we find the shards and stuff, so if we look for shards, that's not what I want. Em emerald, oh fragments they're called, fragments. So there we go, so we've got ruby fragments, so basically what I'm going to have the auto crafting table doing is basically just crafting them into uh, emeralds like so, and then we've also got ruby fragments. So we go, so this will, this has made eight rubies so far, which is pretty sweet, but if we have a look at the amount of combs we've got, we've still got an absolute ton of ruby combs to centrifuge, centrifuge out, so that's the kind of thing that I can just leave running. So already we've managed to produce eight ruby combs, and we've still got like an absolute load for it to load for it to process so in, th in theory we should have lots and lots of rubies on the way which is pretty sweet oh yeah and then finally i just need to show you how to make platinum from the platinum grains so if we have a quick look for platinum there we go so we've got platinum grains which should then craft into pulverized shiny pulverized shiny metal which let me just double check that if i put this through a centrifuge yep that should just centrifuge out the same way into iridium so that's how we will be getting all of our iridium uh, lots and lots of goody iridium so i'll probably just have like any platinum um protest automatically dumped into the centrifuge and then that will just automatically be centrifuged out into iridium iridium nuggets and then i'll probably just have like an, uh, another auto workbench um set up auto crafting uh, iridium which is pretty sweet so yeah uh, this is all going to be depending on me finding a load more quartz which apparently I don't have at the moment so I'm gonna have to go uh, finding of goodies I think I think I've got a couple of quarries to set back up and things like that so hopefully once that's all done we should be finding a load more quartz at the moment I'm a little bit quartz lacking uh, like I said what I also might do is go hunting through miscraft things to see if I can find myself a nether uh, not nether quartz a quartz block I'm just wondering if uh, if we look for quartz, if I can turn ordinary nether quartz into... Uh, let me just sleep first, it's night time outside. If I chuck one of them through the unifier, whether or not it'll turn quartz into nether quartz, or nether quartz into quartz, if it will, then I've already got the miscraft um, page for quartz, so I could just then, in theory, just turn stacks and stacks of uh, nether quartz. Bloody hell, I've got a lot of cows running around out here. Um, bloody hell, let's, let's not blow up all my stuff, Mr. Creeper. That would not be good. That would be bad news bears for me. Don't you blub all those cows. There we go. Kill them all. Let's just kill a few random cows that have escaped from the confines of their pen. Die sheep. I think this uh, power glove with like the melee assist turned up to maximum is pretty lethal. So, so we've got the unifier here. Let me just double check. Will this turn... No, it just turns nether quartz into nether quartz, which is slightly frustrating. I was hoping that might turn... Um, nether quartz into ordinary quartz, uh, certus quartz, but apparently it does not, which is slightly, which is slightly sad. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go on a hunt for quartz, um, unless my quarries can find a load more of it, which it doesn't look like they have at the moment. So yeah, we'll be hunt, I'll be hunting for quartz off camera, I think, or can I get quartz bees? Let me just, um, uh, if we go for combs, there isn't a quartz comb, is there? If not, that might be an extra bees, which I don't have. So, um, sapphire comb, ruby comb. Oh, right, hang on. If we go back to quartz, Q A R T Z, uh, quartz dust. Um, no. Um, if we go for uses, um, can I make ordinary quartz from quartz dust? Yep, I can make. Certus quartz into um, I can make quartz dust into certus quartz. I'm just seeing if there's no, there doesn't look there's any way of like easily producing certus quartz dust either. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's something for me to do off camera. But apart from that, I am going to be leaving the episode there as we've successfully managed to get most of the system set up. Like I said, I didn't realize how low in quartz I was, so that's something that I can't um, finish off for now, but that'll be something I'll be doing off camera. So yeah, I'll be leaving the episode there. Um, as always, don't forget to comment on my videos. It's great interacting with you guys. Um, again, thanks for what, well, apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.